next up on the list is the redirect component, and this has got to be one of my favorites. Go ahead and click on Components and Redirect. And we need to enable this in the Plugin Manager. Fortunately, Joomla gives us a link right there. Click on that link and click on the little red X that enables the plugin. Go back to Components and Redirect. And here's what the Redirect component does. It takes every bad link or every 404 on your site so someone comes to your site and they go to a page that may have existed on an old site or they think should be there and it will collect the URLs and display them here on this page. Then you can go in and tell Joomla what the page should be so the user is redirected to the correct page even if they put the wrong one in. The value of this, wow, less user frustration especially after a redesign where maybe some of the old URLs don't exist anymore, you can come in here and put the new ones in. A while ago, just before this component became available for the first time, I moved a client site and set up a new site for them with almost 7,000 pages on it. You can imagine that moving from their old system to Joomla created quite a few non-existent URLs. And so for about a month, they would come in here every day and they would just check all the new entries here and then put in a redirect. So let's do that. Go back over to your site and click on Joomlaville location. Change the URL for Joomlaville location to Joomlaville locations, which of course doesn't exist. And so we get Joomla's built-in 404 page. That's what the internet calls these pages where you can't find it. Well, here's what will have happened in the back end. Now that we're actually doing this, go ahead and hit refresh, and you'll see this index.php Joomlaville locations is an expired URL. It has one hit, and the nice thing is you can sort by hits. So in my example from earlier, we were getting pages that had several hundred hits a day, sometimes even a thousand hits in the first week, and we were able to sort by those and very quickly update them so our users didn't get frustrated. Well, go ahead and click on the expired URL. Let's go ahead and put the correct one in just by copying and pasting and then taking off that S. Change it to Enabled and click Save and Close. And now we have the status is green, the expired URL, and the proper one. Of course, we're going to talk about URLs in a little bit. Now when I go back over and hit refresh on locations, guess what? Joomla redirects me to the right page. And that's the redirect component, one of my favorite components in Joomla 3.